Oh, salut à tous, c'est Sturie. Vous vous apprêtez à voir l'interview de AJ Styles que j'ai eu la chance de réaliser à l'Hôtel Accor Arena lors de la venue de WWE à Paris le 14 mai 2019. A mes côtés pour cette interview, je tenais à remercier mon bon ami Kev Raker et Mathieu du site Wisport FR qui depuis quelques mois développe de plus en plus de contenu sur le catch que je vous invite à découvrir. Lors de cette interview, nous reviendrons sur les objectifs de AJ Styles à la WWE, de sa préparation pour son combat contre Seth Rollins, de ce qu'il pense du Bullet Club actuel, de la prochaine cover de WWE 2K20 et je me suis même permis de lui demander la raison de sa cuisante défaite dans la finale du Million Dollar Challenge alors que sa réputation de gamer n'est plus à faire. Un immense merci à 2K France et 1012 qui m'ont permis une fois de plus de participer à un événement WWE et de me donner l'opportunité d'interroger les superstars les plus en vue de la compagnie. Un grand privilège que je dois aussi à toute la communauté de Cessal Catch sans laquelle tout ça ne me serait pas permis. Enfin, un grand merci tout particulier au Baron Spiréal pour le sous-titrage de l'interview. N'oubliez pas de partager la vidéo, laisser des commentaires, des pouces bleus, abonnez-vous. Bon visionnage à tous. What's up, guys? Mr. Justice, how are you? I'm good. You ready to roll? Yeah. You uh, first time in France? No, no uh, with WWE? Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been here. Yeah. With WWE before, I think. Hmm. I don't I know. Don't I Sorry. I remember Tiene. Yeah. In France. Yeah. With uh, Christopher Daniels and Samuel Joe. Mm -hmm. It's a great main event. Yeah, thank you. So Rollers. you begin. Okay. <laughs> so from uh, one gamer to another, you are the cover superstar of WWE 2K19, which is, I guess, a huge achievement huge. for the gamer. But if you could choose the next, the cover superstar for the next WWE 2K, who would you choose? Well, I think it's about time that we, we choose a lady to be on the cover. Now, which one of those is, is hard to choose? You know, all of them deserve to be on the cover. You know, we have so many girls that have had a lot of tenure in, in the WWE, but you also have Charlotte and Becky. Um, but then, you know, they've got up and coming superstars as well. Lacey Evans is definitely up and coming. Then you got Ronda Rousey as well. So who knows which female mom may be on the cover, but I, I would almost bet anything it's going to be a female pretty soon. I agree. Uh, I have a question um, about uh, your, your career. Uh, you truly accomplished superstar. You've done everything, won championship all over the globe, and uh, you got Great debut in the WWE, the headline, many WrestleMania. You win championships. What's next for AJ Styles? Well, I think, you know, I haven't been a tag team champion yet. Yeah. You know, so maybe I get Gallows or Anderson or both of them and we we, we do the whole free bird thing with it. Um, not sure what's going to happen next. You know, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be universal champion, so I have to enjoy that while I have it. And then, you know, who knows? This Sunday, maybe? I hope. Yeah, I hope too. <laughs> <laughs> About Jerry, um, you have um, have been all around the world working for not for Jerry and was, um, two two or three years ago. Uh, you you're right. So was WWE always um, has it always been? I mean, a personal goal for you as a. Oh, well, I mean, everybody finds success in different things. Uh, I was content with my work that I've done all over the world. I was happy with what I was doing, but I just assumed that I'd never see a WrestleMania. That was something that everybody wants. To be able to wrestle in front of 100,000 people, it's kind of a big deal. Um, so being able to do that, you know, thinking that it was something never I was never going to have the opportunity to do, then, then doing it, it was like, the biggest relief that I was able to accomplish something so big, something that I'd just grown to accept that I'd never do. It was just a, it was a big deal for me to, to be not just in WWE, but to have a WrestleMania moment. Now, I've had three of them, I think, maybe four. Could be, was it three, four? Chris Jericho, Chris Shane Jericho. McMahon, last year Randy Orton, this year Randy Orton. Shinsuke. Shinsuke Nakamura, for all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know your career better than, better than a fan, I think. Well, it doesn't seem like I've been in, in the WWE long enough to have four. You know, but when you, when you were saying that it was two or three years, I've been there four years, going on four years now. 
So it's hard to believe that I've already been there. Four years is a long time, you know. So it's hard to believe. And by the time my career ends, it could be seven, seven years. That's crazy. Uh, last year, uh, we had, we had um, Finn Berler in interview, and uh, my colleague asked him who was the best on WWE 2K Games. He answered, he answered us, uh, Edge Styles. Edge Styles is the best WWE 2K on the roster uh, playing video games. He's the best. But why do you lose so fast in the million well, dollar challenge? Because I, people thought I was good at the game. I'm terrible at the game. <laughs> well, why would you? Why would I want to play a game that I live every day? <laughs> Think about that. Would you want to play a game where you do interviews? All you know. Xavier would. So, play video games. so I don't play the game. <laughs> okay. So that's why I'm terrible at it. But why Finn Balor said? He he said didn't. Uh, he just assumed because I'm good at video games that I was good at this game. Okay. <laughs> so that it's not his fault. He just assumes. Okay. Uh, and. It, you know, I'm not I'm not into the wrestling game, but I am into other games. It's, it's just uh, he didn't know. It's just a mistake. Finn Balor lies to us. He didn't mean to lie to you. He didn't know he was lying. I could have told the world that I was great at the game. I'm not. This, I, I freely admit to, that I'm terrible at that game. There's a learning curve to that game that I don't have the time to, I think you, you to get into. One offense during the match. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I just was cool. Was my hope spot. I was yeah. He's, he's coming back. Nope. No, no, nah, because I had no idea what I was doing. Okay. <laughs> It had been just button smashing. There's there's a lot of games that you got to put a lot of time and effort into to learn how to play them, and I wasn't willing to do that with WW2K. Was okay for you? Not embarrassed by your situation? I mean, it, it sucked. Yeah. But what you gonna do if he wants to play me in some PUBG or? Or something like that. I'll, I'll I'll murder him like that. You know, if it switch games. Let's see how good you are. <laughs> okay. Let's see if that freaking golden jacket helps you out any. But yeah. It's okay for me. Okay. Uh, today, what do you think about the evolution of the Bullet Club? What do I think about the Bullet Club now? Um, still got some great guys there. Um, I think it's doing just as well as it's ever had. You know. Um, a lot of people have left, but they still are the Bullet Club no matter what. There's a lot of guys that did not leave. So uh, Jay White is definitely yeah, lead him in the yeah, he will lead them in the right direction. I knew he was going to be a star the moment I met him when he was a young boy. Like he had it. Like you knew he wanted it worse than anybody else. And so I knew all along he was going to be successful. You have another question? Yeah. If you have one, uh, go ahead. Yeah, you talk about uh, Bullet Club, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Is there a superstar from New Japan Pro Wrestling you want to, to face in WWE? One that I haven't faced already? I mean, oh, hold on. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's a tough one. I mean, I would love to have the opportunity to get in the ring with Jay White and see how much better he's gotten over the years. Um, again, he was just, he's a great talent. He's a. He was a young lion at the time you were. Okay. Yes. He did have some matches, not a lot of them. Um, but I knew he was on his way. There's no doubt about it. And I would love to get him in a. WWE ring. Okay. Okay, last question. Simple, how do you feel about the appointment of Sunday in Money in the Bank? Thank you, guys. How do I feel about this Sunday? I feel good about this Sunday. I feel pretty confident that uh, if nothing else, you're going to see an unbelievable match. Um, you know, the, a lot of times you're in there with guys who are bigger and you can't pick them up. Well, <laughs> Seth Rollins is not a, a big guy. You know, I'm able to hit a lot of offense on him. Uh, a lot of offense that's he, that, that he's forgot about in 15 years, the, the last time him and I wrestled uh, together. So I'm looking forward to it. A one-on-one -on -one match with Seth Rollins is going to be entertaining. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, guys. I didn't know they were attacking somebody. You attacked me yeah, first. Yeah, I might. She attacked me first. No, you attacked me. No. She, she attacked me.